Good morning. It is Saturday morning. It is the first weekend of spring, and this is what we woke up to. Yay! Oh, it just looks like a beautiful spring day. Just, just wonderful. I actually love snow, and I love the cold, so I <laughs> don't mind it as much as probably a bunch of other people. Um, but it is the morning. Steven is already out the door, of course. Um, I promise he will be in this weekend's vlog. Um, but he took Bubba's for a walk. And yeah, that's what's going on. And I ordered an Instacart last night and had them <laughs> delivered while we were still asleep. So our groceries are already here. If you are not using Instacart, you need to be. So I'm gonna bring those in, show you what I got. We'll do a little quick grocery haul to get this morning started. While I'm unpacking the groceries, I'm actually catching up on Project Runway. I really like the new season format and I love Christian Siriano um, as like their little mentor. I'm loving it. I was doing so well at the start of the 2019 without Diet Coke, but sadly I fell off the wagon. It's still a treat, I love it. It's not healthy, I know. All right, so what did I pick up? I did pick up some Pirate's Booty. It's one of my favorite snacks. Um, some sourdough bread um, from the bakery for sandwiches. I'm actually going to share one of my favorite sandwiches I've been going to lately. Some English muffins. I'm gonna make a little breakfast this morning. Also needed some tortillas. So picked up some tortillas. In this bag is some broccoli, some lemons, some sugar snap peas, some bananas for smoothies, and then also got some thin sliced cheddar cheese for some breakfast sandwiches, a large, just classic hummus, I buy the classic because I like to spice it up and change up the flavor on my own. I got some barbecue sauce for some barbecue chickpea salads for lunch this week. Um, some rice, cucumbers, some avocado, which might not be ripe yet, and I really wanted it for lunch today. I got a kale mix salad. This is one of my favorites. And it's sad because a lot of people ask what that lemon vinaigrette dressing was that I got. What brand? It's Wegmans. So if you don't have a Wegmans, I don't think you'll be able to get it. I got an enormous bag of little mini sweet peppers. I love to take these for lunch just to snack on with some hummus. Some organic milk. And then in here, I got some blueberries, some arugula for lunch today, a big bushel of blackberries, and then lastly, some cherry tomatoes. So that is my little mini quick grocery haul. Lots of color, which is always a good thing. All right, so I'm going to uh, crack an egg and make a quick little breakfast sandwich because I need something to eat before I go work out. I love these Chrissy Teigen pans I bought a while ago. They're so good. So I just scrambled one egg in this mug. I'm just gonna let that cook. Then I have these Morning Star sausage patties. I'm just going to go ahead and throw those in the microwave really quickly. Put the sausage patty on there. Boom. Breakfast is done. I'm just going to eat breakfast, finish Project Runway, and then we'll head off to the gym. <laughs> Xfinity. You'll see how music makes Xfinity. All right, I am heading off to the gym, and 
on my way there, and while I'm there, I'm going to be listening to my springtime Spotify playlist. A lot of you asked me to please make a Spotify playlist because I used to make them every single month, so I put one together for you. This is what the album art looks like. It'll be linked down below. You can go find it. If you have a Spotify account, it's perfectly free to listen to. Um, but that's what I'll be working out to today, and I hope you enjoy it. All right, let's get to the gym. I am home from the gym. I was there for about an hour. I did a three mile fast pace run, about an eight minute and 30 second pace mile. So I did three miles and then I did a half hour of weights. I'm trying to like balance cardio and weights. I feel really, really good. Um, I've actually paused my Orange Theory um, subscription. I will go back to Orange Theory, but currently I'm like working through a couple of different pro, well, I worked through a four week program with Beachbody and I'm doing another program now. Um, but uh, yeah, I do wanna share something though, and I'm not doing a ton of products, but this was actually a gift from Steven for my birthday at the beginning of February. And I had the Apple AirPods, but I really wanted over the ear um, headphones um, that were really comfortable and that I could work out with because I wanted something that canceled out more noise and really like boosted the sound of my music. So Steven got me, um, this is my one and only birthday gift, um, these Bose over the ear headphones and I absolutely love them. They are the most comfortable headphones. They're lightweight, they are noise canceling, they, I just, I adore them. I highly, highly recommend them. I use them multiple times a week um, since I got them and I just, I love them so, so much. The charge lasts forever. Um, these will be the headphones that I travel with from now on. I just really, really adore them. In the case, it comes with like the charging cable. It also comes with a uh, regular like auxiliary cord if you wanted to plug them in and use them that way. Um, but I cannot recommend these enough. Um, I really, really love them. I will leave them linked down below. If you are looking for really comfortable over the head earphones that make working out so much fun because your music sounds amazing, I do highly, highly recommend those. I'm going to go get showered, but before I go and shower, I'm going to toast some bread for a sandwich. I'm really weird. I like the texture of toasted bread, but I don't like my sandwich to be hot. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna toast it so it has time to cool, and then I'll show you my go-to sandwich lately. I've been having this every weekend. I've been packing the things up separately and taking it for lunch. Um, I originally got the idea from Pickup Limes. I'll leave her link down below, but I'm sure you know of her. She's uberly famous. And then I just kind of like keep adding to it based off of what I have and making it my own. Um, but yeah, I'll share my go-to lunch that I've been eating and loving. So um, toast some bread, take a shower, make a sandwich. I'm about to make lunch. This is all you need. I cut up some cucumber, some uh, grape tomatoes, a little bit of avocado. This might be a quarter. I just like, put it in tiny chunks. I have some pickled jalapenos over here, some baby arugula and some hummus, and I have sourdough bread. I did three pieces because this bread is cut very small, like the loaf is small. So I'm gonna use one for a sandwich and I'm gonna have another one, so I'm gonna have one and a half sandwich. Here's the deal, friends. For those who know or have followed the channel for a while, I've lost a significant amount of weight. I'll insert an old picture of myself here. Um, I have tried every crazy diet and what I do know is if you restrict things and make your diet like so unattainable, you'll never maintain it. I don't say no to anything, I eat whatever I want and I just make common sense choices. My weight goes up, my weight goes down. So I just try to live a healthy life. If you ever try to cut carbs and all that, you will never stick to it. You'll never stick to it. Um, and then you'll feel bad about yourself. So I eat bread, I eat whatever I want. Like don't overthink it, just make smart choices and always ask yourself, is this food making my body stronger and healthier or is it not? If you take this to work, I suggest packaging it up in separate containers. Um, so I'm just going to build this sandwich. I'm gonna take a very healthy slather of hummus the hummus is going to be like my glue that helps keep everything on there. It's also a great substitute for like mayonnaise and something like that. You still get the same texture and a little bit more flavor. All right, I'm gonna lay on some cucumber. Put some tomatoes in there. I could have probably just cut up two tomatoes add some avocado. For me, what really makes a sandwich 
is the pickled jalapeno. I put a lot on there. So good. But you could always, if you don't like the spice of like jalapeno, you could just like use um, regular pickles or anything you want. I put a little bit more hummus on the other side, not as much as I did on the base. And then, oh, I almost forgot. Some arugula. Smush this down on there. Cut it on a diagonal. This is lunch, nothing wasted and super nutritious. I'm all showered up, I didn't do anything with my hair. Um, I'm going to eat my lunch, watch a little tennis, and then we will catch up. I hope you try this recipe though. Um, it's so delicious and it's so healthy and you feel so good for eating it because you know how good it is for your body. I uh, have totally been just relaxing. I watched um, my favorite version of Cinderella with Brandy and Whitney Houston and Whoopi Goldberg. It was so good. It's the best version of Cinderella ever made. I just love how diverse the cast is and all the representation in the film. Plus I love the soundtrack. It's just so good. Um, so I've literally just been like relaxing. Um, I put some tennis on. I'm just totally chilling. Oh, it's like two o'clock. Steven and I are going to go out to dinner tonight. I am making this a full weekend vlog, so um, I'll be vlogging tomorrow too, but sometimes you just kick back and relax and it's only like 30 degrees outside, so there's not much to be done. And the house is clean and life is good. Um, so. I'm just going to drink a little bit more water, watch a little bit more TV, and Steven is napping upstairs. Hopefully you'll see him a little bit later this evening. We are getting ready to head out to eat. Um, we are going to a vegan restaurant. It's one of our favorite places. And yeah, we're totally early eaters, so our reservations for like six o'clock. When we go over there, we'll be the only ones there. My hair is a mess and I don't care. Um, it is what it is. I've been laying on it, so it's a mess. Um, so yeah, Bubby, show them your new haircut. Show them your new fancy haircut. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at you so pretty. Look at you so pretty, you look Three years younger, yes. We are back from dinner. We had a really good time. I didn't film. We had a bottle of wine. I had cauliflower wings and this like Brussels sprout and kale salad that was so good. And also a cup of soup that was delicious. It's like roasted peppers. Um, and yeah, I think we're gonna stay pretty low key the rest of the evening. I think we're gonna watch uh, OA. It's a show that Steven's really into. I don't really remember the last season of it, but he's excited about it, so we'll watch it. And then, yeah, tomorrow I think we're gonna go to like a maple festival and see what else we get into, meal prep, things like that, maybe do some planning. Um, but today's just pretty low key. And sometimes Saturdays need to be that way. Right, Bubby, Bubby. Bubba's. Sometimes Saturdays have to be low key. Yes, sometimes they just have to be low key. You're so handsome with your hair cut. I love you, Bubby. Also, we're gonna get to more of your questions too. Maybe we'll even do some questions with daddy tonight. All right, we'll see you guys later. Say see you later. See you later. Good morning. Um, today's getting like a very weird start. So went to bed at like 9.30 and then I was wide awake at three. Finally fell back to sleep around seven. It is now eight. Um, 
Steven just ran to pick us up some Starbucks. Yeah, so feeling a little out of it, but oh, we'll get through the day. I think uh, we're gonna go to a festival, a maple festival right down the road from us. I need to get to the gym. We're gonna do a Q and A. We're gonna do some lunch prepping. Um, and I'm sure we can find some other things to get into. But first, we must get coffee, so Steven must hurry. Hello. Hi. Steven comes bearing nectar from the gods. <laughs> or from Starbucks. Are these ours? Yeah, they say Christopher. Christopher. Is that a pike? Okay. Yeah. I thought I ordered a venti. You were missed in the vlogs when people didn't know if you were still alive. I am still alive. At least I think I am. See, I told you. They've seen Bubba's haircut now because they missed it last week. Just this handsome devil. This handsome devil. All right, so we are going to eat some breakfast and then we will catch up. We are getting ready to head off to the Maple Festival. Um, yeah, this could be fun. back from the maple festival and we picked up it was really cool to see the maple syrup being made but we picked up a regular maple syrup i love how beautiful their label is and then we also picked up a coffee infused maple syrup which is delicious this one we are actually mailing to my mom so does she get some new york state maple syrup so we are sending this one to her while grocery shopping I actually found these and I'm going to use them for lunch because there are two servings of this chana masala. It's organic, it's vegan, it's gluten-free, non-GMO, <clears throat> and I love chana masala. I'm going to microwave it now and just divide it up into two containers along with this coconut rice um, for lunch this week. And then I have another pack, so I'm going to do like two packs, so I have like four days total. <clears throat> But yeah, so my lunch prep this week is actually gonna be a little different than I was originally anticipating. So I'm just going to heat this up, divide it up, and we'll see how it looks. And literally my lunch will take seconds to get ready to go. I just finished heating these up. I'm gonna throw the lids on them. So I have two days of lunches already made. I tasted a spoonful of this. It is so good. If you can find this at your grocery store, pick it up because it's amazing. It's so good. Ugh, I'm super excited about lunch this week. Plus, I love chana masala. I am going to sprinkle a little cayenne on here so it's just a little bit spicier, but I highly, highly recommend this. And literally, my lunch prep took two, three minutes. In last week's vlog, I was talking to you guys a lot about how really since December, I haven't really been buying much, but one of the things I bought was a new work bag because I didn't wanna carry a high-end bag. I wanted something simple and just easy and low maintenance and all of that. Um, and for other reasons, I just wanted like a simpler bag to carry for work. So I ended up getting one of the LL Bean boat totes and you guys all asked me to share my thoughts on it as well as do a what's in my work bag video so i thought i would share that with you um this bag is super organized because as you all know i'm a very organized person um, but i thought i'd share it with you i ended up going with the black 
uh, boat tote. What I love about it is it's black on the bottom, so it stays nice and clean. Um, I got it monogrammed with my name, and then on the front, I have some pins. My goal is to start collecting a lot of pins. Some of these are actually from subscribers. Uh, this little Bumblebee one is from one of you. This Ruth Bader Ginsburg one is from you. Um, and then this Peace pin and Freedar ones that I uh, have had. But as I collect pins, it's gonna be something I start collecting. I'm gonna add them to the bag. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. I actually have a Barbara Streisand from one of you guys that I want to put on here too. Um, but I'd love to collect like a lot of meaningful pins to put on here. Um, so that is the gist of the bag. I also opted for the zipper top. What's really nice about this is it actually sits down a little bit in the bag. So you could throw like your wallet and your keys in here and the zipper holds them right on top so you can like grab them. Um, I really, really like that feature. But let me go ahead and show you what is in here. This is just what I carry on the weekly. One is a swell bottle. This week just happens to be my black matte one with a gold lid. I also think I have two on my desk at work. Um, the next thing in here is uh, my, lap, my work laptop power cord along with my battery pack. I will link this battery pack again. I've linked it a couple times now. I'm not joking. I have had this battery pack now. I think I bought it in 2012 and it is still my favorite battery pack. It fills up my phone multiple times. I absolutely love this thing. I don't go anywhere without it. It is super reasonably priced, but it is the best battery pack I've ever found. And I love it so much. Um, what else is in here? Oh, my headphones that Steven got me for my birthday. I talked to you about these. These are my favorite. I often review video for work, so these come in handy. So I love these. Um, a set of the Emily Lee Precision Pilot Pens. I just love the colors that these come in. Uh, she sells them on her website. They're amazing. Then I have my Oh My Bag pencil pouch from Amsterdam, and this just has micro line pens and eraser, Kate Spade pen, just a bunch of paper clips. Um, yeah. Ah. No, I can't get it to the shop. I, I don't go anywhere without this. It is beat up, it is worn, I've had pens leak on it, but it's my go to. Um, I have an Apple lightning cord. For the battery pack. I think that's it in there. Um, then I have my work iPad. Um, this is just for work. I also have my work laptop. I have stickers all over the front of it. And then I have my toiletry case. I still only carry my Louis Vuitton Toiletry 26. Um, the reason is, is because I love the structure of this toiletry bag because it stands up on its own. Um, it also fits a ton. I would love to find like a version of this that was much cheaper, that is structured, um, and maybe like a coated canvas of some kind because this style works really well in um, a work bag because it like stands up the whole time. I love traveling with it, but I will show you what I have in here. So, I have extra packs of care of vitamins. I still use them all the time. I've talked about them a lot. I still use care of. Um, if I forget to take my vitamins in the morning, I always have extra packs with me. This little container is full of ibuprofen and um, Tylenol, and I think, I think that's it. Just full of like some medicine. I do carry a By Terry Cellurose Brightening Serum. I also keep this upstairs. It's just skincare when your skin is looking dull. I need some moisture and a little glow. This is a great go-to. I have oh, a deodorant. This is the native deodorant. I'm really, really happy with native deodorants. I bought it at Target. It's the one organic um, paraben aluminum free deodorants that actually really works for me. I love it. Another pack of care of. I have some lens wipes because I always have contact issues. And I have an extra pair of glasses in here. I have 
two of my favorite hand sanitizers on the whole planet. I only use Honest Hand Sanitizer. Um, I love it, love it, love it. It's my favorite. I love it in a spray. I think it's so neat and clean to use and um, I just really enjoy it. I have a toothbrush and toothpaste. Um, I have a bunch of these energy packets. Um, these are the Energize from Beachbody Performance. It's the lemon. It's for a pre-workout or just when you're really feeling tired and don't want coffee. Um, I will sometimes use these at work or um, if I'm going to the gym straight from work. I always have, this is the 7,000th tube of this, um, Cooling Water by Milk. It is my favorite thing. It is so cool. Um, in the summer, I keep one of these in the fridge and just run it under my eyes and on my face when it's really hot um, or just need like a little wake me up. I love this stuff. Um, I have a bunch of extra contacts. I wear dailies. I have the La Mer um, lip balm. This is one of my favorite lip balms. I also have a Times um, Fraser Fur hand lotion because it's never too late to smell like a Christmas tree. Um, my go-to fragrance is Elizabeth and James Nirvana. Like this is kind of my signature scent. Um, so I have a little roller ball of that. And then lastly in here, some dental floss. All right, let me put all this stuff back in here. And lastly, this item is going to come as a complete and total surprise to like all of you, is I bought an Erin Condren planner in December. Um, to give it one last try and know that I have really given them a shot. I've tried the vertical, the horizontal layouts, but then I saw they also had an hourly, so I purchased the hourly layout um, and have been using it. I had it say I'm doing all the things. It's kind of my slogan at work, um, but I've been enjoying the hourly for sure. It doesn't leave a ton of, like this is part of this week, um, and it's pretty full. It doesn't leave you a lot of place to ramble off some lists like the Start Planner, which you guys all know, Start Planner. My still the most comprehensive, most wonderful planner. It's the planner I always go back to. It's actually still the planner that I use because all my monthly calendars for like the entire year are already filled out in there. I kind of use it as a reference point for this one. Um, but I have been using this um, for a while um, and I really am enjoying it and I am totally making it work and I'm doing all the things. Um, so that is in there. And then the last thing is to make this bag a little bit more functional is I had this somewhere to organizer in my Neverfull GM upstairs. So what I ended up doing is pulling out the organizer from my Neverfull and sticking it in here and it works perfectly. It's about the same size and it allows me to organize everything. I really love these Samorga organizers and you should know if you buy the large LL Bean boat tote, a Samorga Louis Vuitton um, Neverfull GM organizer fits right inside. So this is my work bag. This is what I carry with me every single day. Um, I love being prepared and this is truly everything I need. Um, to kind of get through the day. Um, so there's a glimpse of what I carry to work every day and how I'm loving this L.L. Bean boat tote. It's great. Love it, love it, love it. And then what's nice is if you don't want to zip it, that inside lining lays completely flat on the inside so you can also carry it as like a big open tote. Um, I will leave some of these items linked down below just in case you're interested in some of them or trying some of them or giving them a try. If you can find a toiletry bag that is similar to the 20, Toiletry 26, please share it. I would love to give people an option for it. Um, any toiletry bag that stands up like that is just really handy in a bag because you can always unzip the top and just reach into it. And I think that is like so incredibly convenient. Steven is taking a nap. We just finished watching the Elizabeth Holmes um, documentary on HBO called The Inventor. Um, I'm sure you've heard, she's been in the news a lot lately. She is the one that ran that blood testing invention fraud um, in Silicon Valley. And I've been super interested in it. I watched multiple documentaries now. Um, I want to start reading the book about it. Um, for some reason, it just really sparked my interest. And yeah, so that's what we did. And now Steven and Bubba's are upstairs napping. And I'm going to get this put back and probably start thinking about what we're having for dinner. I think I'm gonna make some Thai curry chicken. Um, and I'm going to try one of those Campbell skillet simmer things um, just to see how they go. I have the chicken thawing. So 
That's what's happening, my friends. My friends, I was editing the vlog and it is already 30 minutes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hold off on the questions and answers and I'm actually going to just make a question and answer video this week at some point um, and bring that to you because if I do it in this vlog, it'll just become so long. So um, sometime this week, I will film a separate designated question and answer. That way I can get to so many of your questions um, that you ask because there are several over on Instagram and I wanna make sure to um, respectfully get to as many as possible. So with that, I'm just going to end this vlog um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's so good to be back. I feel like I'm getting my vlogging feet um, with this second one. <laughs> uh, under my belt so I'm going to wrap up this vlog as I always do take care of yourself take care of others and be kind kindness is free give it to everyone I hope you all have the most amazing amazing week and remember anything you want to do you can do it um, just make a plan and go for it all right my friend